Now, breaking news from KCTV 5 News. We thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Carolyn Long. We are on top of breaking news in Independence. A police officer has been shot. We have in-depth coverage for you with KCTV 5's Caroline Sweeney. Live for us now at one of the many scenes in Independence right now. She is at 23rd and Cedar. Caroline, what are you hearing? Well, Carolyn, it's still a very active scene here at 23rd and Cedar. Now, this is where a chase ended, which is connected to that officer being shot around 10 o'clock this morning. I just want you all to take a look behind me. Police are taking photographs of the scene. The Kansas City, Missouri Police Department uh, has their drone out here, also taking pictures from the sky. Now, things have calmed down here just a little bit, but this is what the scene looked like here when we arrived at 1045 this morning. Now, now, 23rd Street is a busy street here in Independence. They have shut down uh, a set of lanes from Cedar to Hall Road, but one is still open. Now, here's what we know so far. The Independence police officer was responding to a burglary around 10 o'clock this morning in the 3600 block of Delaware, uh, where that officer was shot. We do know that the officer is in the hospital, but the condition of that officer has not been, re has not been released yet. Uh, we are waiting on information from the public information officer here in Independence. There are a lot of moving parts to all of this. Like I said, 23rd Street is the scene uh, of the end of a chase, and we're waiting to learn a little bit more about what has happened here. And as soon as we get that information, we will be sure to update you and let you know not only here, but also on social media and online. Live in Independence, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV. Five news. All right, thank you, Caroline. Thank you for the latest from that scene. Let's go to another point in Independence now to see what you are hearing about this Independence officer shot. Amy Anderson joins us live from where are you, Amy? Carolyn, we are at South 35th Terrace and Delaware Avenue in Independence, and I'm going to step out of the way. You can take a look and see very active crime scene behind us. We believe this is where everything may have started this morning. There is a house around the corner. You can see the yellow police tape. There's a garage door up on one of those houses, and we believe there may have been some sort of burglary or something similar to that that started in that house and then ended over at the scene where Caroline is. Again, we're still waiting to get information. Uh, the public information officer has not been down here either. I can tell you that there are several police agencies on hand here. You've got Kansas City, Missouri police right here. Missouri State Highway Patrol is up the street. Of course, lots of independence officers here as they try and kind of uh, sift through all of the evidence and information that they have to try and figure out exactly what happened here this morning that landed one of their officers shot and in the hospital. We're going to stay on the scene here. We'll bring you the very latest information just as soon as we get it. For now, reporting live in Independence, Missouri, Amy Ann Anderson, KCTV 5 News. All right, thank you, Amy. We're going to go to not too far away from that location to yet another location here in this developing story. Here we go to 37th and Chrysler, where KCTV 5's Jessica Reyes is standing by with the latest. Jessica? Yes, well, we are on the other end of where Amy is at, but I'm going to go ahead and get straight to this live video right now because this is what I want to show you. There is a lot of police activity going on right here. The focus seems to be around this police car right now. We saw investigators taking pictures of it. They also have put down some cones. Now the cone says number five and we saw them looking around the road. It looks like maybe they were looking for shell casings or something like that. But again, uh, we don't have information of what is going going on here. Now this road is blocked off. There are at least a dozen police officers out here, including the crime scene investigations van that has also pulled up. It's been here for quite some time, but this is what the scene looks like right now. There doesn't seem to be a sense of urgency at this moment, but they are laying down those cones that are numbered. The highest number that we are able to see from where we are standing is number five. And again, they were looking around this police car, uh, perhaps looking looking for shell casings, but there are a lot of police officers out here. A lot of homes involved in this area. There's at least from what we can see at least five or six homes within this yellow tape that police officers have put up. But again, very limited information of what is going on out here. But 
We'll continue to stay out here and monitor this situation and we'll bring you the very latest updates. Reporting live in Independence, I'm Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5 News. Obviously now multiple crews digging for more information for you about what happened exactly this morning in Independence. Again, what we know for sure right now is that one police officer was shot just shortly after 10 a.m. You want to stay with us right here on KCTV 5.